Okay, so we made it over here to the Frick Park where the famous Mac Miller Blue Slide is. So we're going to come over here, we're going to, of course, take a photo of the Blue Slide and go down it. Here in Pittsburgh, we're very, very excited to be here. That's awesome. All right, now it's my turn. <laughs> Good job. That was so fun. That was so fun. That was fun. So this is actually our first stop which was kind of unintentional. But now we are going to actually go to the actual city. But yeah, we're gonna go to Pittsburgh um, and actually go downtown. We got some places picked out. Just go and explore, really. The sun should be coming out in the next hour. It's coming. Um, it's been a little foggy this morning, but with that being said, let us get going. All right, after much, much driving around and stress. We came back to the parking lot where we initially passed. <laughs> yeah, but we couldn't have gone in on that way anyway, no, so. No, we found it though. That was, yeah. there's a, we think there's a Steelers game going on. It's very hectic. It's Sunday, would make sense, but what you have to look at is this. Look at that cathedral or church, whatever, whatever it, it is. is. It is, it looks like a castle. This is a, probably, I'd say the second biggest city maybe that we've been to. Chicago is definitely the biggest city that we've been to thus far, but we're excited to be here. We're gonna get everything all put together, ready, and we're gonna go walk the streets. Exploring. <laughs> all right, so I did have my Sigma 18 to 50 on here, but I think I'm gonna swap that out for uh, my 85, I think today is an 85 kind of day, so let's go ahead and get that going. I did clean all my lenses. I should be ready to rock and roll. We'll throw on a black mist, make uh, some of the tones a little bit softer. Isn't that neat? Wow, look at that freaking dirt. That's crazy. That's where the king lives. It's uh, a busy city. We're gonna go and get some coffee right now. Yeah, this is top tier. 
Oh yeah, this is definitely a schmancy hotel. Okay. Pennsylvania. That's incorrect. All right, I gotta swap out my lens real quick because I'm slowly realizing that the 85 isn't the way to go. But luckily for me. I have just what I need. And then this is your shutter, so you, that's allowing light in for a certain amount of time. See what she did. Hey, those are pretty good. All right, just real quick. Little reflection shot. Go stand over there. Actually, this was in California. Yeah, we, we, we're the best man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm from Cali. Nice, nice. What part of Cali? Los Angeles, Rosario. Yeah, nice. This, uh, well, I got this Fort one in uh, yeah, Fort Bragg. What's your name? Cam. Ish. Nice Ish, to meet you. nice to meet you. This is my wife, Alexis. Nice to meet you guys. Yeah, absolutely. Appreciate the hospitality. Great chatting with you. How are you doing? Yeah. That's cool looking. Yeah. Look at this firefighter. Of course, you can never go wrong with a alleyway photo. Is that the train station? Let's go in there just real quick. I have a feeling. Super pretty right here with all these trees. Oh god, yeah, I do actually. That's pretty cool.
<laughs> That's awesome. There's the Pittsburgh Steelers. That's their stadium. So all these boats out here are all here for the game. That's pretty cool. They can sit out here and watch the game on the Jumbotron. It's really cool that they have this in their city, especially with the stadium being like waterfront like it is. Now I saw this thing the other day online and it's 100% correct. And what it did was it explained that composition can make or break a photo. Meaning, if you're not close enough to your subject or if you're too far, it may not look as good as you think. So an example of that would be right here. You take the photo and that's what it looks like. It looks like a pretty basic photo, but if you change directions, get a little closer maybe about right here and of course it helps to have lovely subjects actually just because it's there beautiful I'm a sucker. I'm a helpless romander. Yeah. Sis and I are a little thirsty, a little hot, a little hungry. We're gonna run to a little restaurant and get a bite to eat, get a drink, refuel, and then we'll get back out there. I think I'm nice and warmed up, so woo, woo, really great photos so far. I'm really, really enjoying Pittsburgh. Awesome. It's a nice restaurant. This is a cool photo. Alexis has her camera out. A little camp snap. That does look cool, actually. Eighteen seventy. Eighteen seventy. It's your time. It's my time. It's the time I come from. Golden doors. Beautiful. With the Pittsburgher. All right, we are going to take a little break. I think I got some good photos so far. Come over here, pay for our parking. I think we're gonna reevaluate and see where we want to go next. Sick. All right, now we are done. I don't know, what do you guys think? You I think those photos were good. All right, we're gonna get in here. I'm gonna get all my stuff put up and we're gonna go over where we wanna go next. So we'll see you in a bit. So Alexis and I just got done. We went to the old- Strip district. The strip district. Do the little sightseeing. Uh, but now we're at, what is this? What is this called? Duquesne? Duquesne? Incline. Takes you up the mountain or takes you up the hill. See if we can get a pretty decent photo of the skyline. Um, may stay up there for a little bit till the sun kind of goes down a little bit lower. And I think we may be able to get something pretty decent. And there we go. You know what's freaking me out? I'm looking at the 
two by sixes. <laughs> I'm waiting for some of them to snap. Oh, no, don't no. say oh, that. Yeah, I think so. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you. All right. We uh, came to the Steel Mill Saloon. The lift is literally right across the street. So we're gonna wait it out. Once it gets darker, then I'll go over there and I'll probably do like a long exposure. Um, and I just did some. It looks really good, so uh, I'm really excited to get those photos done. But we're gonna have a little drink for now. Okie dokie. Now that we have let time go by, we can come over here and get some photos. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Man, that is beautiful. Beautiful. Of course you gotta have a little handy dandy tripod. Ta-da! Take my time with this. <sighs> Pretty content with that. I think that was like the culminating event for us. I think we kind of nailed it. Look, we just came down from that all the way down. That's pretty cool. I think overall we had a really great day today. I think I got some really great shots. As far as Pittsburgh goes, what I would scale it on, definitely for me, nine out of 10. This was a solid city, super clean in the downtown area. Felt safe. Felt safe the entire time I was here. They had a whole bridge dedicated to Andy Warhol. If you're ever in the area, definitely check it out. If you guys care to follow along, please subscribe. But until then, see you on the next one.